DBS, who had to try to take Earl Campbell under control, coined the term business decision. Oh my God, before he started, you had to get him. Once he started, young lad, it felt like a truck. He weighed 230 pounds with 36 in thighs. You know how often I saw another man's thighs as a young man? To down this man, literally, it took a whole defense. Starting their careers, he is the only NFL player who has won Offensive Player of the Year three consecutive times. Just in his second NFL season, he was an MVP and the best power back the league has ever seen. Meet the most dreaded running back of all time. Earl Campbell received his moniker, the Tyler Rose, after birth on March 29, 1955, in Tyler, Texas. Earl and the rest of his siblings started working early on since the Campbell family struggled financially and he was reared among 11 children. Bert, his father, held two jobs split by day and night. He worked in the rose fields with his children when the sun rose and then at Kmart when it sank down. But calamity struck Earl, barely 11 years old. Earl's father died from a heart attack, and this is when football entered the scene for him, but in a far different role than what defined him as a Hall of Famer. I intended to be a linebacker. He so played linebacker from junior high until he was a junior at John Tyler High School when Earl's head coach, Corky Nelson, selected him to be the new running back and to suggest Campbell's position change was a fight would be a minimization. I would dump the ball and dash straight forward. Just fumbling, I would dash up to the line of scrimmage. You know, I just wanted not to do it. Campbell craved contact and had a fearless attitude, though, based on his linebacker background. He was thus absolutely unstoppable when his senior season's performance came together. He was most dominant high school football player I had seen and most likely ever seen. Campbell scored the game-winning touchdown in the finals by smashing two opponents on his way to the end zone. John Tyler High School also went 15-0 to earn their first state title in 43 years. Campbell put up 236 rushing yards, 225 total yards per game, and 29 touchdowns and then arrived the national buzz. Named Mr. Football, you say, in 1973, Campbell was so physically strong that coaches even considered he would go professional out of high school. Barry Switzer, former Oklahoma head coach, allegedly claimed Campbell was the only player he had ever seen that could have gone directly from high school to the NFL and instantly become a star and Campbell's even more legendary college career virtually proved that thesis. The likes of Houston, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Baylor made offers to him, yet, after being highly sought for by those powerhouses, the Tyler Rose brought his skills to Austin, Texas, and the human wrecking ball became legendary. Given the outrageous list of backs who have worn the burnt orange, Campbell's Texas tenure from 1974 to 1977 was perhaps the best years ever seen by a Longhorn running back. Arriving on school with all of his clothes in one grocery bag, Campbell got a film of an NFL star that would influence his perspective on the running back role. Campbell would project the Jim Brown tape on his dorm room wall to examine his game. His actual power back form emerged at this point. Observing Brown, he remarked, I just couldn't believe this person, that he could run over people like that. I so simply saw myself wanting to be in this way, sort of created in my head. And my, did he really ever? Over his four years at Texas, Over Campbell forced his will on all of college football. Earl, a freshman, earned the Southwest Conference Newcomer of the Year title with his 928 yards and six touchdowns. Still, that marked only the start. Not only did Campbell lead the Longhorns to an 11-2 record in his sophomore campaign, but he also became one of the top backs in the nation, running for 1,118 yards and 13 touchdowns and garnering All-American marks. And Campbell rushed for around 100 yards a game, even with persistent hamstring problems throughout his junior season. 
but his senior year resembled nothing we have ever seen before. Earl Campbell became 